Hi everybody, today is February 20th, 2013. Apostle Tsunami Debris Found on Kai. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Several large pieces of debris recently washed up on Kai's shore, believed to have been washed out into sea during the 2011 Japanese tsunami. The device on top of each piece is called a Geiger counter, which detects the emissions of nuclear radiation. Kauai residents have seen a spike in the amount of debris, including pieces of refrigerators on Kai's beaches, and experts say as part of the Japanese tsunami debris making unpleasant new waves. Since February, it's really piling up, said Carl Berg, chairman of the Surf Rider Foundation of Kais. It's sort of like we finally got in the wave. Surf Rider, working with community volunteer Daniel Nelson and Jessica Austin, a Kai Community College Marine Option Program student, spent last year monitoring marine debris on the North Shore beaches. Berg said in the email, Daily collections and weekly cataloging have provided the ability to see changes in the amount and size of the debris originating from the Japanese tsunami of March 2011. Starting this past summer, Surfrider began to find very large black buoys from Japanese oyster culture crafts, Berg said. So far in February, most large buoys, pieces of high-density foam, and clump nets with 13 large floats attached, 23 large fishing floats, Pieces of three different refrigerators and a piece of floating dock washed up on north and east facing shores. Berg said his biggest concern with the new wave of large debris is that it possesses a threat to Kai's reef as well as marine life and swimmers. You can just imagine a refrigerator pounding against a reef at Larson Beach, he said. Another concern is some of the items have had plant and animal life attached to them, which is why Berg said it is important to get the debris off the beach and prevent them from being washed back out to sea. There are plants and animals coming in that we don't want to get established here, he said. Berg said that Sun Surfer has been testing the debris with a Geiger counter, which measures nuclear radiation. And all tests have shown very low radiation levels. Well, it shows that they do have radiation then. You get more radiation lying on the beach from the sun and sand than from picking up pieces of debris, he said. But if radiation isn't a problem, the item still could contain chemical or other hazardous material. And Berg said caution should be taken before any trash is picked up on the beach. Earlier this month, Berg and Don Heacock of the Department of Land and Natural Resources removed a truckload of refrigerators, floats, and pieces of docks from the beaches after testing each for radiation. There is more out there to be removed from remote beaches, Berg added. A lot of the recent debris have been pushed onto shore by winds and ocean currents. And Berg said that he expects more to arrive in the coming months and years. This is just the first bit, he said. We expect the stuff that didn't blow as fast, but drifted to be coming in behind it. The Surfer Foundation of Caes is asking those who find debris to contact Barbara at 635-2593. Surfrider can also be reached through its website at calisurfrider.org. And it also says that Chris D'Angelo, lifestyle writer, can be reached at 245-3681, extension 241, or at lifestyle at thegardenisland.com. Once again, there's an image of something it doesn't say. And then they have another image of a what looks like a refrigerator. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.